Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you the new Stamperia Ooh La La collection. Um, we just got this in, and it is now shipping. We had it on pre-order, and it's here. So if you were waiting for us to actually get uh, inventory on hand, it's here. Wait no longer. Go ahead and head on over to www.scrapandcreate.com and make your purchase now. Okay, so this is uh, 10 double-sided sheets, Stamperia. It has a collection pack, no backgrounds. It's cute. That's very sweet. Lovely cut aparts, or at least that's what I would do. This is fun. This is really fun. I have to think about what I would do with that. I think I might make it a little bit shorter and just make it a flap, like so. Okay, we've got a nice little map, which is always fun. Um, so clearly, uh, Paris collection. It's kind of romantic, very girly. Enjoy the little things. And this uh, collection has um, lots of little goodies that come with it. Life is a big adventure. This as a background and these as card toppers, very cute. And there's the arc. Life is an adventure. Eiffel Tower. Lots of pretty things. Okay. Oh, I like this. Nice nice size cut aparts. <clears throat> and a little envelope. It's fun to use this even as a template and make uh, more simple um, envelopes as well, but that's going to be a pretty one. Oh, and it's front and back. That's nice. Ooh, it's got sayings here, and you can customize it on this side if you want to. Nice. Lots of labels. It's a nice um, background page. And then we've got some cut aparts here. Very fun. This is a nice, fun collection. You could easily see doing, um, you know, first trip to Paris. It's very pretty. Okay, now in addition to this, we have uh, collectibles. So let's take a look. Okay, more cut aparts. Yay, I like that. Okay, these are front and back actually make paper dolls <laughs> that's really showing my age I know okay I like the camera and the uh, negatives oh and then oh, I really like that they're printing something on one side and keeping it simple on the other so you can repurpose this to a custom or personalized label that's a good idea um, Stamperia well done Cute little cut aparts that you could add to the corners of your photos. Wow, this would be great on cards too. You can add a lot of texture and layers, and of course, um, embellishments in your books. I like the cute feminine luggage here. And they've got a couple of different scales for you to work with, which is very nice. Sometimes the scales are too big for your mini album. These, these look like they would work very well. Okay, and look at that. This is really smart, Stamperia. I hadn't seen anybody do this. It is nice to have a choice. Okay, now of course I'll probably use the words, but it's very nice to have that choice. Okay, so that's the collectibles. Uh, it also comes in an 8x8. And we've got some rice papers. Now this is the rice paper collection pack and I'm going to go over five of the six right here in just a moment. So this has all six of the rice papers for this collection included. And right here on the back you can see what's included in the package. This is the one we don't have the single for that I'm going to show you. The rest of those I'll show you actual size because we have them right here. And I'm going to show them to you in reverse order. <laughs> so there is the violin. 
the, the journal one. Very pretty. And the patisserie. And our flowers. And our contemplator. <laughs> That's cute. So that is the rice papers. And then now we're going to get to the yummy stuff. We've got um, wooden shapes. They always have, oh, I forgot before I get too far down the path. These are kind of like patterns um, instead of the sort of big, large prints. Um, so they're very simple and can be used um, these are also rice paper. It comes in a pack. There's eight printed sheets. So there they are. Okay, for more detail, go to our website so you can look at um, the pictures that we have there. And now I'm going to go over. So we did the wooden pieces, and I love those too. That's fun too. We have the um, decorative chips. These punch out. Most of the time, people either ink or paint them. But you can do all kinds of things. I mean, you can ink them and then add embossing. You can do lots of things. I love this. This would find its way onto the cover for sure. And that perhaps. Okay, so this is the ephemera. These are adhesive backed. So it's a little confusing. So we have two ephemeras. And the difference between the ephemera and the die cut is two things. One, these are not as dimensional as these die cuts. So it's a little bit thinner. It's still thicker than paper. And then this has adhesive on the back. These are literally uh, chipboard pieces that have been die cut that you need to glue down. So that's the difference. And of course, they don't have pictures of everything inside. But from looking at this, um, this would be suitable for uh, eight by eight, even as small as six by six in terms of mini albums, scale, right? So a lot of times I'm, I look at the elements and try to figure, like she's one of the biggest elements, try to figure out what kind, what size book it would work in. So you could do a lot with these. These can be used on cards as well. It doesn't look like there's anything past this height. Let me tell you what it is real quick. She's uh, five, She's five inches tall, so you could even use it as layering on a card. So there's these two. So this has uh, lots of the girls in it, and this looks like it's more of um, the uh, elements of the city. It, but they have the camera thing in here too. So you got um, the patisserie. It looks like some of the window pictures. It looks like a lamp post, and these are florals and um, the girls. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, it looks like there's a wreath in there. So there's quite a few pieces. They don't tell you how many, but I have yet to open one of these packs and actually use everything, at least on one project. Um, and then here's the die cuts. These tend to be my favorite because I like adding dimension. So um, if I was gonna get the ephemera, I would choose one or the other. And I would, I would likely choose this one. And then you're gonna have some duplicates between between the two, but I like that this has dimension. So you can use them side by side and it'll give you a little bit more dimension in your project. And of course, these are beautiful and quite durable. And that is all I have today for Stamperia. Ooh la la, which is a lot. Don't you just love Stamperia? They just give you so many elements to work with on a project. So that's it. Um, again, these are in stock. If you were waiting for them to arrive, they're here and shipping now. So head on over to the shop. Take a look. Thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.